Firstly, I would like to give a, a title to my talk. Uh, the title is Home Market Effect for All. Uh, the, what, what, what's a home market effect? Uh, uh, actually, home market effect is an idea in economics that uh, countries with a large domestic demand for some products with a scale economy tend to have a larger sales of the same abroad. China is the second largest economy in the world and uh, maybe keep growing. Um, so if you uh, invest in China, set up a company and succeed in selling your products in this large domestic market in China, uh, you tend to be more successful in the whole world market. Uh, this whole market effect tends to be strong in those sectors with a high scale economy which uh, was uh, stressed by uh, David just now, uh, as, such as automobile, chemical products, internet companies, airplane, telecom, tel equipment, and et cetera, those sectors. The sectors with high scale economies normally have intensive R&D input, have network effect, learning effect, they normally have more innovation activity than other sectors. So this whole market effect, if you like, we can also call it a large market effect, will benefit those innovative companies, uh, bring them a large platform to explore their inventions and innovations. It will also just uh, like uh, bring China competitive advantage or some kind of new competitive advantage in innovation intensive industries. Uh, so, however, uh, the large home market uh, cannot be segmented markets, right? Uh, we cannot uh, have this kind of uh, home market effect if we have a, a segmented markets in China. So I think uh, now the government stressed that we need to have a unified, unified national market. The, the, one of the important results of that is to uh, help uh, all the companies uh, to exert this home market effect uh, better. So then push it for innovation oriented economy. Um, uh, after 40 years of reform and opening up policy, um, unfortunately, there are still a lot of things to do for Chinese market the Chinese economy to further reform, we still have a lot of uh, domestic barriers. Um, if we look at labor market, uh, capital market, uh, market uh, the transaction cost is still very high. There are still a lot of domestic barriers to limit all these transactions. For example, just like George just now mentioned, the hukou uh, system uh, limit uh, people's mobility. How can we have a unified labor market if we still have this hukou system? Uh, fortunately, we are seeing more cities, especially those medium-sized and small, small cities are losing the hukou limitation at the moment. In stock market, uh, the review and approval system has been, you know, it, it's going to be tra transformed into a kind of a system. So, and for companies, uh, they, they will be uh, easier to be listed. Uh, even for the uh, land market, okay, more market mechanism uh, are going to be introduced uh, to 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 you know to facilitate the trading of uh, the right of use. So the large market effect is important, and there's uh, you know, one point I would like to stress. Uh, you don't need to be a Chinese invested company to enjoy this large market benefit. Foreign invested companies can also enjoy this uh, large market effect or home market effect. That's why I say we should have this home market effect for all, no matter uh, local invested or foreign invested, as long as you are doing business in China. So I think another result of this unified national market strategy is to attract more foreign investment. Okay, one difficulty, one barrier 
to unify the national market is a local protectionism. Okay, we need to eliminate the local protectionism, especially by the uh, local governments. However, we know that one of the reasons for the successful uh, growth of Chinese market, the Chinese economy, is that a lot of local governments actually they have been playing a very important role to uh, develop their local economy, uh, to uh, facilitate, to attract uh, investment. So we still need to keep some incentive to the local governments to give them the incentives to help, the, ha help to grow their local economies. So how, how to you know, uh, solve these kind of uh, conflicts? I, I think the, the base, basic rule is that we should, we should make sure that the economy is you know, managed uh, by law. You know, it, we, we should have a rule by law, especially we should have the, this, you know, put this competition policy and the competition um, uh, laws, uh, you know, as uh, 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 give them the basic status in the whole market economy. Uh, so, so that 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 that's why, um, just like uh, David and other um, people, just uh, emphasize that the anti-monopoly law is uh, very important. We should, you know, to respect this law and uh, uh, implement those laws uh, better. Okay, that's all I would like to say. Thank you very much.